Uh, hi everyone, um, this is uh, um, Roberto speaking. Um, I'm going to show you um, a bit of uh, what I've done in the past six years for Fabric. Um, hopefully um, some of you will know the club. Um, at the moment obviously uh, it's shut and uh, this talk hopefully will bring you know, a bit of a fight for a, a reopening soon next, uh, next month. Uh, I'm going to start this uh, showing you um, where for me everything started and it's the, the foldable flyer for fabric where um, you know, um, I basically uh, started my, oh, the connection between, uh, between me and fabric started from this piece of paper. Um, uh, when I came first uh, um, into England, I was literally amazed uh, by, the, by the quality of uh, the, the, the creativity inside a piece of an A3 foldable paper. And I can't believe that, you know, um, after a few years later, I was actually in charge of doing it myself. Um, oh, sorry. Um, this is a probably one of the first projects I did for Fabric. And as you can see, you know, it's um, used really poor props. Um, all the scrap wood uh, was from the Fabric office uh, where, while they were doing the renovation. Um, there wasn't a brief. And uh, as most of the projects that I've been involved, there was no brief, uh, no budget. So it, it was about improvising every month coming up with a different idea and making sure that the idea was also usable on different platform. So you will see a variety of different technique and medium uh, that I've been exploring in the past six years. Photography was the one that I used the most. Um, typography was, was, was also very important for me because in the end what you have to do was basically communicate who was playing at the club. And through typography, I managed to, um, you know, very simply and nicely just communicate, um, you know, the, the artists that were playing at the club. Um, uh, this is another iconic project. Um, one of the first I did with the photographer, Matt Barch. And, um, you know, this guy that you see here is my friend Cyril. Um, basically, you know, we, uh, I, we, at that time, you know, I didn't have any model available, so I just thought that this guy was uh, uh, the right guy for the project. And it involved, like, uh, building props based on uh, uh, Luigi Serafini Encyclopedia, Codex Serafinianus. Um, we built some uh, really weird and quite um, strange object. Um, there's always been a bit of a, you know, this sense of awkward and uh, in the fabric art world. Um, that's me behind the tree doing a, a massive bubble. Um, one of the projects that I was really, you know, proud, um, it was really simple and uh, really fun. Uh, you know, like making bubbles in the freezing cold in December you know, to have an image for this, for January. Um, uh, this is a bit another quite sinister and uh, a bit um, mad uh, illustrations that we did with uh, my friend Luca. As you can see, there's a, you know, a baby into a, someone's head, some uh, eyes, uh, you know, on a, on a kidney and a uh, human heart in the back of a head. Um, uh, um, this project was um, probably one of the, the only project that um, was showcasing sound related imagery. Fabric probably in 17 years never used any sort of, uh, you know, art instrument or anything. And that was uh, the only experiment that I thought was quite cool, you know, creating with the CGI um, imagery, some sort of an environment, like a clean, clean room kind of place, uh, a bit alien. Um, 
mushroom. Um, you know, you said uh, you had a uh, lot of mushroom, and I instantly thought about it. Um, so, you know, again, another project with no brief. Um, we just uh, basically thought, okay, uh, what's next? And uh, I was really actually inspired by, you know, the, you know, the, the, the shapes of the mushroom and the colors. Um, and I decided to do an, a series of them and just taking them in a completely alien and um, unexplored environment, I would say. Um, I remember the, the day when I pitched the idea to the guys, because um, the guys inside the office, I, I didn't have a client, you know, being a, a in-house art director, you basically just walk to the promotion team and just say, what do you think I'm doing with a series of a space mushroom? That's what I said. And they were like a bit, um, I don't know, they were like a bit, uh, you know, um, not sure about that, I would say, also because, you know, the connection of uh, mushroom and drugs and night, nightlife wasn't for the best idea. But in the end, you know, they were really happy, and, uh, and I was as well. Um, this was for me one of the, probably the, the most important project that we did uh, uh, for the Fabric Birthday, which happened every, every year. Um, it's about um, 30 hours of rain non-stop, so we were trying to catch the, the energy of, uh, the club, the, of the club and the people attending the night. Um, so some of the models, you know, weren't really you know, we're, we're brief on the idea and uh, they were a bit unsure about doing this. But we only had like five, <laughs> five chances because uh, these, um, these sugar glasses, um, the, the one that they use in the movie, it's very expensive. So, you know, you only, we, we didn't have a budget again, you know. So, you know, five ch chances to just actually smash a, a piece of a glass on someone's head. Um, <laughs> um, and then after the mushrooms, um, why not um, sea life? Uh, <laughs> you know, so a big trip again to Billingsgate Market, all night looking for the weirdest fishes and crabs, um, taking into the fabric offices, smell of fish for two days. <laughs> um, Yeah, um, another birthday uh, weekend project. This time again, we, we wanted to recreate the energy that we managed to catch with the breaking glass project through a different technique. Um, quite interesting this one because we basically, what you see, it's all done in camera, obviously. Um, I mean, all these shots that I'm showing you, it's not been, any, anything has been shot. Um, this uh, technique, we, we photographed the model while being hit by uh, tonic water. So this guy was basically in an inflatable swimming pool in room one uh, of uh, the fabric club. And um, the reaction of the quinine, uh, which is an ingredient of uh, uh, tonic water, with the flash UV light, uh, just turns all the picture blue. Uh, next, after the mushroom, again, we thought, why not carnivorous plants? Um, <laughs> but this time, basically, um, we, again, we drove to south of England somewhere from a carnivorous plant specialist, spent the whole day looking for the weirdest plants ever, and then uh, taking them into the studio and photographing them in, on a very clean background. Um, with a bit of a, you know, arrangement. Um, and this is my last project, um, which I'm really proud of, uh, the uh, powder paint again. Um, this guy was basically jumping on a trampoline and six, seven people were involved throwing powder at him. Um, it was a fun shoot. Uh, but I just thought that this image for me represent, uh, you know, the energy and the passion 
of the people you know behind the club and everyone was really happy and um, and yeah we, we we all love it um i think that's it from me i hope you enjoy it thank you very much